Today I'm sharing with you how to make a felt insert for the inside of a wooden tote. Now I shared how to make this wooden tote last week and I'm going to post a link to that. It's a tote from Walnut Hollow and I shared how to stain it and stencil on it. Now this insert is made from Conan EcoFi felt which is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles and I'm using the premium plus felt. It's really thick and dense and it washes up really great. Now what I did here is I measured the width of the um, inside of the tote so that I could cut a strip of felt to that same width. And then I'm using a measuring tape to measure the um, down one of the sides, across the bottom, and up one of the sides on the inside so that I know how big to cut the piece of felt that's basically going to form a U shape inside of the tote. Next, I cut sides that are going to um, close off the two sides of that U shape to make it an insert inside of the felt, and you can see I'm kind of sizing it there. This, the measurements are going to be different depending on the size of the tote that you're using. Next, I pin those two side panels in place on the bottom. You want to sew the bottom first because it's going to be a lot easier. I'm just using a straight stitch here um, with some green thread in my baby lock sewing machine, so nothing super fancy. I'm stitching straight across both sides, and you can see the flaps are now attached. And then I removed the pins, and next I'm going to cut a divider that's going to go in the middle, and I'm making it a little bit wider than I made the sides. And that's because this divider is going to have to fold over on both sides to be stitched to the um, sides of the felt. So I pinned it in place in the middle and I'm sewing across to secure the bottom of the divider. And then I'm going to roll up the sides and pin the sides working from one side of the tote to the other. Um, so basically everywhere that there needs to be a joint, we're going to be sewing that those places. Now I know that it can be a little bit difficult to see some of this on the video. Um, but once I pull all the pins out and I have all the pieces sewed together, it's going to be a lot easier for you to visualize it here in the video. Now one of the things is that it would be easier if I had a second camera to shoot this with and at the moment I don't have my second camera um, with me so my husband's borrowing it because he's taking a college class. <laughs> And um, some days I have it and some days I don't have it. So when I do get it back, I will try to make sure I get those extra shots for you guys so you can see the sewing machine action a little bit better. But basically all we're doing is just sewing the sides together. So I'm sandwiching those two sides together and then sewing them um, with the machine. So you can see the stitching there. So the flap that's in the middle that's going to create that center divider is sewed across the bottom and then I'm sewing it across the sides. And then once that is sewed in place, I'm going to sew the sides of the insert up and um, secure them so that it fits inside of my tote. Now my insert is a little bit loose and I'm okay with that. You could go in there and stitch it down a little bit more to make it a little bit of a tighter fit. Um, and I mean you could be a lot more exact with this if you wanted to, but this is good enough for me. I like that I have the space between the insert and the tote that I could slip in some extra seeds. Um, it is washable, so if I put my tools in there and they happen to be dirty, I can wash the insert. Um, the Kuna EcoFi felt washes up super nice. So I hope that you enjoyed this DOI, DIY project and that you'll come back here again soon. Please hit that subscribe button here at the end and if you click the link to go to the blog, we are doing a giveaway with Walnut Hollow and Kunin Felt today. So make sure you go and check that out.